Hey, let's go out and check out our enclosure on the Stratford floor plan by Empire. Well, here it is. Now, I want you to know that this original structure was actually pre-built by Empire. It's a standard upgrade. Yes, it cost extra money, but the foundation is actually the same quality as the house. And we've got three structural supports, one there, one there, and one there. So the main roof is all original construction. All of this was put in by the builder. All I did was to put in the enclosures. Now, I want to show you a little bit about what we did on the enclosures. We needed a kitchenette area down here. Now, if you're going to do a kitchen with a sink, obviously, before they start construction, you have got to say, can you put in the waste and the water supplies for me? You can't do that afterwards. It's not an afterthought. They've got to lay that before they lay the foundation concrete. And that's what we did. So we have official hot and cold water coming through, and we've got a waste pipe that's connected to the main waste. Okay? And we put in two... Sink, we put in a, a three drawer unit here and a one drawer and a cupboard unit down there and a small countertop on the top. It's a little six foot countertop. Now on top we've actually got an enclosure system which is called a screen block which is either sold through Lowe's or you can get it direct from the manufacturers which is what I did. I just told them the dimensions and what I wanted to do. Now a little tip, if you're going to do something like this you have to get homeowner's permission, especially if you're in Texas in a homeowner association controlled subdivision. So don't just keep doing it on your own uh, and think you can get away with it because we're, we're changing the external appearance of the house. And it's going to need HOA approval. I've actually got two, I actually built a half wall down here and we've got two 4 by 4 by 8s going at the top. That's enclosed with a, uh, a fiberglass sleeve down here and here and then I've got mid-span support. I put a little shelf unit up here because in the corner I've actually got um, the, manor, the, the builder and by homes have put in a proper G GCFI uh, plug outlet which I use for my electric man grill out there. Which I love my little pellet grill. Um, so that's pretty cool. So you can see this Man cave is approximately 330 square feet. Now on this end, I've actually got two enclosures and I put in a 4x4 four four post here to put in a formal screen door. It's a lot easier to get in and out of a screen door than trying to roll these enclosures out. I got these from the enclosure guy. Um, very heavily, heavy duty enclosures. But I took the door section out here that was going to be an enclosure. I put in a proper screen door that I got from Lowe's and we actually have a, a dog flap because we have uh, four small dogs and they go in and out themselves right out to the yard and everybody's happy. Now all of this I did myself uh, but bear in mind I've got eight years of carpentry experience and I know what not to do. I would not touch the gas fire. I had a professional connect up my uh, gas fire for me in the corner and I'm real pleased about that. Got my little remote here. Yeah, did you hear it? Just came on. There it is. So I got my remote gas fire for the winter when I want it. And it'll give a nice bit of ambience, which I'm going to put up. Everywhere you have a gas fire, you want to have a, a, a carbon monoxide, I say not that, but a carbon monoxide uh, sensor. I've got open areas there, and of course all that is screened. So I've got a fair amount of, of airflow coming through here. I had, had an extra media outlet there for my TV, but I'm going to enjoy myself out here. This is a beautiful place, and I'm really pleased about how this uh, half wall came out. Now, you've got to know what you're doing with a half wall. Let's go outside and show you a couple of things. So, don't just try and do this yourself. There's a lot of construction, structural stuff that goes inside here that you may not know about. And not only do I have eight years worth of uh, carpentry experience myself, but I also had one of the highest designations that the UK offered uh, in property, which included five years of building construction, one and two. So I know a little bit about it. And yes, for you experts, there is a vapor barrier inside here as well. And this sill, I know it's a little dirty at the moment, but it actually has a five degree slope on the outside because I put uh, shims underneath it 
uh, not the plastic shims so we get a downslope. In addition to that I've actually got an L-shaped piece underneath here so I've got a double layer coming here which should be able to drip the water clear of this surface. So even though th this is well painted and hugely caulked, of course you need to caulk it every year, uh, we should still get an adequate drip away plus I've got some uh, a drip at the bottom to stop water from coming underneath and that of course is doubly caulked on the bottom and at the sides and you can see here I got a little flap so I get access to my electrics for my uh, for my uh, electric grill electric barbecue grill here my pellet grill now here at the back I've actually got an extended patio which we had the builders put in again this is not the kind of thing you can just put in after the fact you've got to put it in I had the builder put it in and know what you want before you get here why because when it's on the original plat map then you don't need HOA approval because it's in sight and the builder did it I didn't do it therefore we're good to go as long as it's on the plat map otherwise you're going to need to get HOA approval for any changes that you do so this has been really good and you may wonder well, why have I got a shed at the end there and not at, and not down at the back. Well there's two reasons. First obviously it makes use of my electrical outlet that I have put in that back wall and I actually put in a, um, a, a water outlet there as well, a water spigot and it's all fiberglass not metal which tends to corrode. This is all your fiberglass parts which I think is going to be a lot better than the metal which eventually goes. The key to all of this thing is to think ahead and discuss these upgrades and options with your sales consultant before construction starts. It's too late after it started. So take your time, think of everything you might want. There it is. I really like my outside man cave now, 330 odd square foot carpeted with some indoor outdoor inexpensive carpets like 70 cents a square foot or something for here so a couple hundred bucks we've carpeted the whole thing and we've got a really nice completion completed man cave or outside patio and we can have coffee right here wife and i or of course we can just sit outside have all those wonderful philosophical discussions hope you enjoyed that look forward to you guys uh buying an empire home wherever it may be, and as I say the key, think ahead, get your options done before construction starts. There you go.